I'm back with Pat's Two Cents, here to continue with Ephesians 6. Now we're moving down to, we dealt with righteousness and truth. Now we're dealing with verse 15. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Blessed are the peacemakers. Oh, this is Pat's Two Cents quoting another scripture. Blessed are the peacemakers. Are you a peacemaker? Huh? Or are you a troublemaker? Which one are you? Do you dredge up arguments? Or do you douse them out with love? Do you stir the pot? Or do you calm the situation and disarm it? Be a peacemaker. Carry yourself with peace. Spread the peace all around. Affect your realm of, of uh, your sphere of influence with the peace of God. Okay, I'm going to read on on this because that's pretty short. 16. Above all, take in the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Mm -hmm. shield of faith if you believe really believe what God's word says things won't have you flinching and tripping so hard it won't have you so reactionary mm -hmm. you'll be in control not be controlled you won't be so easily hurt somebody has a dagger at their tongue and they fly it at you and ooh, that hurt my feelings Here's your shield. Father, in the name of Jesus, take this hurt out. Please. Next thing you know, oh, I'm not feeling it anymore. It's not hurting. <laughs> That's your shield. Because you're believing God more than you're believing in, in their nonsense. You're putting more store in your source than in the nonsense. You hear what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> yeah, when you really believe and you ask God things, I'm telling you, he won't let things hurt you like they used to. That's the shield of faith. Shield. It protects you. <laughs> okay. Now, yeah. Uh, let's see here. What is the next one? Ah, Okay. Verse 17, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. You know, there's a scripture that says, uh, the renewing of your mind. Present your bodies a living sacrifice. I think it's Romans 12. Present your bodies a living sacrifice. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You have to recondition your mind. How do you recondition your mind? You notice it's in the same verse dealing with the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. You renew your mind by the word of God. The word of God gets all into you. And where you would normally see things in the most negative view possible the renewing of your mind tells you things like oh instead of this thing getting ready to kick me to the curb and they have power over me and i have no defense and oh i'm i'm just being a victim here god's word will tell you if god is for me who can be against me god's word will tell you greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. I mean, it just, you start finding yourself responding to God's word rather than theirs. You respond to God's encouragement than their threats. It, I'm telling you, it, it, oh, if you could just grasp what I'm saying, God's word renews your mind. Instead of you taking offense, you say, hmm, that's something to consider. 
Well, think about that. You take it to God. You don't take offense. You take it to God. And ask God if there's any truth in that. Open my eyes to it so I can grow there with. Okay, I'm going to stop there. We'll move on later on. See you in a minute.